How you doing fam bam? This is Chris Mizo here with another video on how to flash the BIOS of your ASUS motherboard. They have three different methods on how you can do it and they make it really simple. It's not like how it used to be back in the day. Back then it was really difficult and then you would have to pray and hope that the flash worked. And there is many reasons why you should update the BIOS, especially if you're thinking of upgrading a component. And if it's one that came out within a new year and your motherboard could be a little bit older, maybe it's from two or three years old, that BIOS upgrade may just do the trick for your PC to start working even better. Now, before I get to it, if you find this content very useful, make sure you don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy content just like this, make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button because we love to talk about PC and tech stuff. But let me get straight to it. And some of you might be asking the very question, why should I update the BIOS? Why is it so important? And I'll tell you, there is a few reasons why you should do it and the reasons why they are important. Number one, because of security issues. If you update your BIOS, it can make your system more secure. It's not just Microsoft's problem to make sure that your system is secure. You want to also make sure that your own system is secure. You want to make sure that your ASUS motherboard is doing its job of protecting your PC. And another really good reason is if you're upgrading new hardware. If you have a motherboard or an ASUS motherboard that is from 2018, and you want to put a new piece of hardware from 2021 into it, it may be a very good idea to upgrade your BIOS because of that very reason. If you're getting a brand new CPU and your motherboard's say a TR4 and you want to upgrade to the new TR4 uh, Ryzen 5000 series CPU, that's a very valid reason to update your motherboard so that way you know that your BIOS will be able to read that CPU. Otherwise, you're going to run into other issues or unwanted issues that you have with your PC. And the reason why I say that, because it will not only increase the stability of your motherboard, but it will also increase the performance of that new hardware that you want to install. Like if it's a new SSD or maybe it's some new DDR4 RAM that you have for your PC, that will do the trick. And many times, just a simple flash, it can fix a lot of problems that you may be having on your PC. So I'm gonna mention three different methods here. I actually recommend the very first method that I will tell you in this very video. The second one is one I don't usually suggest, but I will go into details once we get there. Of course, the third method is another way to update your BIOS. And it's also a method just in case if you ran into an issue to where you installed the wrong BIOS on your PC and now you want to install the correct BIOS on your PC so that way it will work properly again that this method can possibly fix the solution if your motherboard is not bricked. Now, let me show you exactly how to do it. All right, so we're gonna go to method one. Make sure you go to ASUS's website. I will make sure to have ASUS's website down in the description box down below. Also, in order for you to download the BIOS for your PC, you wanna make sure you have the correct model number. It's super important because you do not wanna brick your PC. And what I mean by bricking is exactly how it sounds. It's just only gonna be good as a paperweight. So please make sure that you have the correct model number for your motherboard. In order to do that, I will show you exactly how. Uh, the very next step is make sure you go to the support page and here we go right here to even tell you so you could go into your bios menu and it will tell you your information right here as you can see so with the suits all you have to do is hit the delete key when your pc boots up and it should take you to the bios check out the information side and it will tell you your motherboard's model number here and it even tells you the bios version now if your bios does not have that you can also Make sure to check on your motherboard because it will also be labeled on there as well. You will see a sticker on the side of it. Um, it will be somewhere on the surface of your motherboard. So please make sure you have the correct uh, model number for your motherboard. Otherwise you will risk breaking it 
and please be careful when you do it and when you do this right you should not run into any issues and of course i cannot take any responsibility if you download the wrong bios for your pc let's go back here and we will go to product series and select the correct motherboard that we have for our pc for example i have a rog strix and the product uh, model of mine is TRX, trx 40e gaming and it popped right up so that's the one we will go to now on the right hand side you should see a picture of your motherboard it should look just like your motherboard if it doesn't please make sure that you have the correct motherboard in hand. Again, I know I can't stop repeating it, but I just wanna make sure that your PC is okay. So let's go to driver and tools and where it says, please select OS, select the OS that you have for your system. For this motherboard, of course, the only option is Windows 10 64 bit. So for my BIOS, it looks like it's currently been up to date to January 20th, 2021. And notice it says beta version. Now, if you do not want to use a beta version and you want to make sure that you have a very stable uh, version, you can go to see all downloads. Uh, we will go with the beta version. As you can see, it supports resize bar function, improves DRAM performance and stability, and it even improves USB device compatibility. So let's hit download and it should download into a zip file. Make sure to have WinRare or WinZip installed in your system. If you do not have it, I will make sure to have it in the description box down below as well. So what you have to do is open this up and extract it to somewhere you will remember. Extract both of these files here. One says ROG Strix TRX 40E Gaming. It's also a friendly reminder that you have the correct BIOS for your motherboard and you'll see BIOS Renamer. Just highlight both of them, extract them to somewhere you will remember. I always extract them to my C drive and I actually have a specific folder called BIOS. So I will extract it to that folder. I will go into my C drive. I will go into BIOS. And as I see here, I have three different files. This is an old file, so I'll make sure to erase it because that wasn't in the folder, correct? So usually if it's clean, it should look more like this. If it's in a new folder, it should look something more like this. And the very next step, you wanna right click BIOS Renamer and click Run as Administrator. It's gonna ask you for administration rights and you just click yes. And this will give you a notification to say, this has been renamed to RSTRX. 40 e cap press any key to continue and there it goes now you have your cap file ready to flash for your bios so the next step you have to do is hit windows x on your keyboard press up press up again press right and then you can click restart so when the pc is restarting you can hit delete or f2 in order to get to the bios on my motherboard or typically any ASUS motherboard. So once it's booting up, just make sure to hit either key. Now we have entered the BIOS. All you have to do is if your BIOS is like mine, which is a UEFI BIOS, which means you can use your mouse or your keyboard in order to control the BIOS, press the right arrow key until you go to tool. And then next step you wanna take is gonna go to the ASUS Easy Flash 3 utility. Now, once you go to that utility tool, you wanna to go to the directory to where you save that file at. Now, as you can see on my right-hand side, I've created that directory recently where it says January 30th of 2021. It says BIOS, so I'm gonna go there. So just hit the right arrow key and go down to BIOS, and hit enter. And as you can see, I have the cap file right there, ready to go to flash my motherboard. So I'm gonna hit enter. And it says, do you wanna read this file? And please make sure you have the correct version on there. And of course, I want to flash it. Make sure you don't touch your PC while it's updating this BIOS file, because if you do, you can risk breaking your PC.
As you can see, the BIOS has updated and your PC will naturally restart. Now, usually when you have a fresh BIOS update, it will take you into the screen, so don't panic. So just let it continue doing its update. Anytime you do an update, it's going to seem like just like when you first built your PC. So all you have to do is just hit enter to go into the setup. Now, if you have any overclocking settings or anything like that, it's probably a good idea to make sure to have those profiles ready because your BIOS will reset everything to default settings. So for me, I'm just going to go with the default settings. And it should be good to go which is the least I recommend is going to Armory Crate and installing it, which is kind of like an automatic installation. You can just go to Armory Crate here and then you'll go to this wrench icon right here and then go to the BIOS and then you can let it automatically install. But that method is probably the least I recommend because that is the most unstable way of installing a BIOS and the least secure way of doing it. And I feel that's more risky in bricking. So fam bam, if you're on the third method, I'll show you exactly how you do it. Of course, you're gonna need a USB and I'll show you exactly what you need to do. And if you're curious what kind of USB I'm using, this is something that's very fast. I definitely recommend it. I have it down in the links down below if you're interested in purchasing it. It's a Samsung 32 gigabyte USB. I only purchased it for like about 10 or 11 bucks, but it is amazing. It's super blazingly fast, especially if you're installing uh, Windows or if you need some sort of software to boot off a USB, this is something I highly recommend. I will be using this very USB in order to do the BIOS flashback method. Make sure that you have a blank USB available plugged into your PC. As you can see, I will go into my folder here and I will go into Samsung USB. As you can see, it's completely blank. It's in the F drive ready for a new BIOS. So the very next step is you want to copy that cap file and now you want to bring it over to your Samsung USB or whichever USB that you will have. So I will paste it on here. So the next step you want to do is hit Windows X, press up, up, right, and go to down, down, and shut down. So the very next step you got to take is make sure that your PC is off. And when your PC is off, you want to flip it towards the back end. You want to make sure that you have your USB handy. You want to put this on the side when you move your rig in order to get to where your BIOS flashback is. You'll see a button right there located for the BIOS flashback tool. And right next to it down here, harder to see because of this keyboard USB plugged in. We will unplug those. And right there is actually where the BIOS flashback is. And it even has like a nice little white water line to let you know that's where you can put your USB. So what you have to do next is put your USB back here. Now it is installed. This is a great method just in case if you ever ran into an issue with your uh, BIOS or if you needed to do a flashback to a previous version. So the very next step is you hold this button here for about three seconds. and it should start flashing. Make sure you don't touch your PC while it is in the process of updating. And you should see something on the LED on the side. Usually when it stops flashing, on the back side, it means it is done updating and it will also give you a notification on the LED on the side of the motherboard as well. Now, you have successfully flashbacked your BIOS.
Now, usually when you have a fresh BIOS update, it will take you into the screen, so don't panic. So just let it continue doing its update. Anytime you do an update, it's going to seem like just like when you first built your PC. So all you have to do is just hit enter to go into the setup. Now, if you have any overclocking settings or anything like that, it's probably a good idea to make sure to have those profiles ready because your BIOS will reset everything to default settings. So for me, I'm just gonna go with the default settings. And it should be good to go. I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you like content just like this and you want to join the big wonderful fan band, make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button. And also don't forget to hit the notification bell. And for all the newest updates, make sure you follow my Twitter handle right here. And guys, if you have any questions at all or any kind of content that you would like to see, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.